what is happening right now. So many different things are happening. Kire did not betray Koto, uh, Tokiomi. Kire sacrifices Hassan to make everyone else think that Tokiomi and Kire are odds against each other and to make it seem like Kire is now out of the game, but they're playing dirty. Poppy is at the church. He is literally the referee. And now Kire is just chilling at the church, completely safe zone. If anyone tries to go against that, the holy church will go after them. So they're playing extremely dirty, right? They think that Kire is gone, but he's still in the shadows because there's Hassan's left. Now, Gilgamesh has independent action. He's just doing whatever the fuck he wants. Ryder wants to just fuck, fight, and sleep and eat. Waver just keeps sticking his ass up. Saber and Kiritsugu, non-existent relationship. I just feel Kiritsugu. Sorry, I just feel Saber. That's like the fake combo. By making your own wife as a false target, Kiritsugu can assassinate behind the scenes along with Maya. Maya is... Past lover? Defer ID? I don't know how this shit works, but Kiritsugu is a fucking terrible husband. Like we memed on episode one when he wouldn't even see his daughter just stare out the window. But that was more of him like not thinking that he deserves any of this happiness because Kiritsugu has issues. And if he were to walk around time with Idisfeel, it would make him sad because happiness is something that he cannot allow himself in order to pursue his dreams and ideals. Ryunosuke Bluebeard? Don't know what they're doing. Now, we do have Archibald showing up, not just yet, but in the form of Lancer. Lancer versus Saber should be pretty easy for Saber. Let's begin today's reaction. Demon Lord. Wait, 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 am I? My bad, my bad. Wrong episode, wrong episode, wrong episode, wrong episode. <laughs> wrong episode? <laughs> episode four is where we're at, right? Yes. I'm like, this is a very familiar scene. What's what's happening right now? All right, all right episode four, here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> this guy is Deer Mood or some shit, right? He's like a three-star Lancer versus a five-star Saber. I don't think this is gonna be close, but then again, this is not FGO. Saber Sword is invisible though. Charm? He has a curse. What the, the fuck? Something we can't control. Pretty faint. Mm. Anti magic skill? Alright, alright, I get it. Alright, you, you, you got a very handsome face, my man. I understand. Okay. So is this charm literally like he's so hot? Opponents are like he's very good against girls. I don't and some dudes. But Saber has anti-magic shit, so the charm doesn't really work well. But he is naturally good against killing women. <laughs> Has painted like fake tattoo command seals too. Like, cause like we need to role play, you know? Like, they need to be under the assumption that ID is the one that's controlling Saber. It would be hilarious if they fucking painted some command seals on her wrist. Opening playing soon? Nope. He's doing pretty well. Kiritsugu, where are you at? Yeah, where's Archibald? Assassinate him! Alright. In that crane. You think Archibald's on that crane? I don't know. This is rare to see Kiritsugu smile. Usually he's just fucking dead eyes, emotionless, but in the heat of the battle. And to see how well Saber would do, like he's actually smiling. What's going on, ID? What do you see? Saber. 
I don't like these talismans around this. These talisman looking things doesn't look natural to the spear. I'm kind of worried about that shit, but he is dual wielding. The short one will be. Both are the noble phantoms and fuck it. Then they would know the noble phantasm, right? That's why I hide identity. That's kind of impressive how we're getting pressed back. I understand that he has two spears, but this is fucking Saber, bro. Just because he has two spears and we're uncertain of what the Noble Phantasm will be, he gets the early lead right now. But it doesn't matter. Whoever gets the early lead first usually fucking loses. I guess Saber just being very careful because, again, we don't know which one's the Noble Phantasm. I'm going to guess both of it's Noble Phantasm or none of it is and he has a third spear. And the third spear is his cock. Okay? It's invisible. Yeah, it is kind of bullshit, right? Like, we don't even know, like, how long is the blade? What the hell is this blade? It's just all invisible, bro. Kiritsugu? Snipe him. No, not your wife. Kiritsugu, snipe Lancer. Where's Archibald at? Oh, 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 I saw some. Is that him? Soge King. Eliminate him. Mr. Archie. Uh oh. Oh shit, Kirit's gonna assassinate? There's someone else here! Hassan! I'm not sure if that's a good idea to reveal yourself like this, because if you do, then we can imply that Kirit is still in the battle, but okay, there's more than one enemy at bay here, okay. Just observing. Second, if you consider you know, Gilgamesh. Hmm. Saber. Saber. Rank A. Saber should be like SSSSS crank. Mm hmm. ID. Can Tokyo me discern that she's a fake? Okay. Be hidden. Don't give out your identities. Uh-oh. Silver hair woman. Half elf? Satala? Witch of Envy? Never mind, just white. Just white. Uh <laughs> yes, Caucasian. And so they should pick up, right? That like, because they know Kiritsugu. They have intel on Kiritsugu, right? But they can't predict what class they're going to summon. So I wonder if they're going to realize like, hmm, something is off here. The traits of Einsburn? Mm, she's a doll, right? Okay. We have actual terminology. Homunculus. So the term doll was thrown around, not metaphorically, but literally. She is an artificial human, a homunculus created in order to satisfy whatever the great leaders of Einsvern old elites want, right? Heaven's feel. So these homunculuses are created just to do what exactly? I'm not sure, but you know, you want to keep the family succession going to have kids and rather than Mato's buying off, you know, fucking <laughs> Tosaka kids, the Einsburns can just create homunculus. <laughs> But is it? Mm. What's the Jupsta sheets? Jupsta sheets. I'm gonna assume it has to. It's like it sounds German. Einsburns are German shit, so uh, I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's fucking Einsburn people. Mm, I wonder. Yoi. 
All right. That's the elder's name. Got it. Oh, this is so cheap, bro. Tokiomi and Kirei, they just stayed inside and they're just on FaceTime the entire time through their shitty ass fucking ancient technology, whatever jukebox this is they're, they're talking through. Kirei has assassins that can communicate and do all the visions and stuff and sighting. And then Tokiomi gets all the intel and, I don't know, they anticipate the move. They're playing so fucking dirty, but... I mean, it's not like Kiritsuko's not playing dirty. Everyone is playing dirty, and this is war after all. There is no honor. There is no... Some sort of, like, knight's chivalry. We're here to fucking win no matter what. Interesting. Yeah. Take down Archibald! If we kill Archibald, it should be over? I actually don't know how that works. Okay. Don't fuck around with servants. Only go for their masters. The fuck? Mm. It's impressive for a woman? Sounds like a misogynist. Ooh, they glazing! They glazing! Archie! Where are you at, Baldi? Noble. Phantasm. Alt incoming! Spear down? The red spear. Is it really, though? You never know. Okay, that talisman-like rap is gone. Alright. Wait, that's wind? Wind is making it invisible? Yeah, because if they saw the sword and they recognize Excalibur, they would think, oh, it's just, it's King Arthur. They probably then can predict all the movesets, right? I see it! I saw for a bit! Cause it's wind! That was too easy. The fuck? That was way too easy, dude. Yo, the, the three star servants are no joke in this show, man. Because I'm coming in with a bias from FGO, I just thought this guy would get steamrolled. But like, nah, man. He Because like, it is hidden with wind. Ma using mana? To use the wind to like keep it concealed. If you clash against it and remove the wind, it's looking like Excalibur is leaked. Haircut. <laughs> 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 How the fuck is this an old anime? It's ufotable. The production value, the fight animation, bro. I don't even know if there's any fucking anime airing right now this season that can compete with this kind of animation. There's a couple, but uh, other than a couple outliers, right? Like works from Clover, works from Dogakobo. It's 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 nah, bro. Like this shit's on the next level. Uh-oh. I need do something! Don't just stand there in shock! But how can she do anything? She's not even the fucking master. She's literally a decoy. I mean, Diarmuid has the fucking Noble Phantasm on right now, so it does make sense why Saber, Saber's gonna get pushed back. What is it? So graze it, parry, strike. Are you sure you want to do this? Okay, that's the plan. We're, we're gonna slide in, barely get grazed, and slash him. That's the game plan. Slash. Where's your attack? What the fuck happened there? We had it. We had it. But something else happened here. 
she was supposed to attack. It looks like the Grays did more damage than she expected. First blood! Deva. Heal. No heal! Wait, is it healed? Okay, it was. Okay, it was. It was. Okay, it was. It was. Okay, it was. Pierced it. I mean, it's probably some sort of his like noble phantasm property, right? Like his, her armor is OP, but like his spear, like he's in noble phantasm mode. It's gotta be OP as well. Hmm? What? It passes through armors. The armor wasn't penetrated. So when it's in noble phantasm. He has no regards for armor. It's literally just bypassing all that shit. Immediately goes for the hits. Okay, so the any one of his attacks, you can't really like defend against it with armor. Mm. But he can't do that against the sword. Oh, that makes sense too. Because when we clash with, against the invisible sword, right? It wasn't just like the brute force of the clash friction, like removing the air. The mana that was used to hide the blade with wind, that got cancelled. Therefore, you could see the sword as well. Mm. Mana cancelling weapon. Naked. Yo, Saber should just take the armors off at this point and just show the sword. He already pretty much knows what the sword length is and what it might be. The armor and shit, just take it all off. Fuck it. Fan service time. Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> now we're faster! Oh shit. The soundtrack changed. The soundtrack changed! Yeah. Faster, lighter. Glaze! The mutual respect! This soundtrack is so good. Wait, he's getting ready for something. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, this is like a jetpack. Your saber can just propel herself forward using Excalibur like that? The second spear! The second spear is back, bro! Yeah, they can! And he has two! Oh, Saber, no! Oh, what happened there? What happened there? It, we got nicked. No, we landed a cut on his wrist. But she already cut our wrist to basically exchange blows. But who knows what that short spear does? Right away. Oh, Ryder been watching the entire time. So, so Waver still holding that pose. Ryder is like literally the opposite of what Tokiomi and Kirei are doing. Ryder doesn't want to win by default by scheming and just letting others destroy themselves, right? Ryder cares about like conquering and having honor and just like being there. Earning the wins. I feel like that's gonna be his downfall in a game like this with especially like characters like fucking Kiritsugu, bro. Kiritsugu, Tokyo, and Kirei, they are scheming out their fucking ass. Ryder's honor, I think, is gonna lead to his downfall. Or maybe I'll be proven wrong. Literally using that as bait, taking out all at once. He wants every servant to gather in one place, then he'll fucking drop his noble phantasm and win? He's too righteous, man. 
Exactly, and Ryder is the one person who doesn't really care much about that. He just wants a fucking valiant, glorious duel to the death, I think. He doesn't really care about scheming. Yeah! Oh. Wow, look at that. To win, but not destroy, and to conquer, but not humiliate. I just want to destroy and humiliate monkeys, but Ryder is a righteous conqueror unlike me. I'm more of a sinister guy, right? Like, like I would definitely... I would... I, I told you! I did what Kire did in my fucking graduation high school event, Shoot to Win. I faked my death with my friends, and I was in the shadows. Giga Chad. <laughs> Chariot! <laughs> there it is again! <laughs> Let's go! It is insane, yes. God, Waver is such a little bitch, bro. But again, I think that's the whole point, right? I think that Waver's entire thing is to be this whiny, pussy ass bitch who is so wanting other people's acknowledgement to the point that he's gonna make the fucking wish to have it, but. By witnessing Ryder and his like philosophy on life, maybe Waver will go through a whole you know, like transformation at the end. Because like without that, if he's not a bitch right now, then where's the character development, right? <laughs> it is kind of also unex like it is also kind of. <laughs> I know he's a mage, but he's still very young, right? And to be confronted with Ryder, like of course everyone's gonna be fucking overwhelmed. Okay, we got his wrist, but she got he got our wrist too. Tendon. Airi, do something! Point zero point. <laughs> Archibald literally just said, stop yapping. Fucking stop stalling, bro. I mean, they are yapping a lot. Lancer and Sayuri, they, they are just kind of glazing each other a lot. Healed? Airi, where's our heal? Airi, speed. If the first spear can cancel mana, then the second spear is an unhealable attack? Uh-oh. Dude, that was actually so sneaky. To have us completely forget about the second spear concealing it, then during that exchange, just fucking getting out of nowhere and nicking us, that was all it needed, damn. He got us fucking good. Vanga Gejarugu Mainishte. Yoroing a muida to Satota Madaba Yoka. Behold, my noble phantasm. Gay dirg. Gay dick, bro. Gay dick. Now, isn't there another move called Gay Bulge? Who was that? There is a move called Gay Bulge. I remember the FGO memes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, was that another lesson? I don't know, but I remember Gay Bulge. I think it was more gay bulg, but we call it gay bulge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That golden spear, <laughs> man. Gay booty. We got gay dick and gay booty. So, gay dick is the one that cancels mana. Gay booty is the one that, that unhealable attacks. <laughs> Alright. Yo, where's our noble phantasm? <laughs> <More than> that. <laughs> his, his little beauty mark is the is the charm. It's a magic ball, dude. It's a magic ball. <laughs> Cause like. Having that like a beauty sign on that girl, it's like a beauty mark, you know, but like if it can, it's his magical charm to raise up girl. <laughs> this guy's pretty funny. Dermud. There it is. Dermud. Oh, Dude, I can't believe how much lore there is in this three-star lancer. Like, I was looking down on him because he was a three-star lancer from the game, but like, bro. The glaze from Saber, like these noble phantasm, it's not thing like world fucking reality marble bending, but still it's very powerful. There's like a lot of lore about this guy with the fucking mole as well. Oh. 
<笑>グレイズ。そのオーゴンの宝剣を見違えた。ゲッツ・ギャラバー。一時報いるまでに至ったとは。うん。That's <笑> So the whole idea of the armor coming back is that, like, the red spear made us think that we could strip naked because he could just penetrate our armor with the anti-magic. But we never knew about the gold spear being able to cut through, you know, being able to do uh, anti- sorry, uh, it's, it's like an anti-healing move, right? If we had the armor on, that would have never happened, so the armor is back on now. <laughs> Crashing the party. What's up? So, who killed my dear? Malish, bow before your lord. Oh, no, my dear. Just fucking drops in during the middle of a match, just leaks his own. F he just doxes himself because, again, everyone wants to hide their shit in fear of the enemy is knowing their shit. But he just shows up. Yep, I am Iskander, motherfuckers. What a ruler <laughs> and waver. Crazy, ID. What's going on? Kiritsugu, what are you up to? Hassan's still watching as well. Blade of the Demonic Spear. And that is today's episode of Fate Zero. Pretty hype. So far, it's just been mostly yeah, but now we have an actual battle episode. And my god, like I had full faith that you Fotable is gonna fucking nail the battles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they fucking nailed it. The animation, 2011 animation right now. Better than 99% of the fucking garbage slop that's being produced by the industry in seasonal anime. It's so fucking good. What did we learn? Uh, we learned that Kiri and Tokyo and we are just conniving as usual, but they don't really understand exactly why I, like, um, where ID is from. Well, they know where ID is from, but they're like, hold on. ID? Einsburn homunculi? White hair? Ca Caucasian? White? But Kiritsugu, where is he? They don't really make the connection just yet. Uh, Hassan is just doing uh, vision, you know, doing espionage, and Kire can have all the intel about that. They're just relaying messages. Diarmud is a very conniving character. He's got a beauty spot. The mole makes the women kind of like... They get charmed, and they can't really fight him well. So he's like, So he's like very good against like fighting against women, I guess. And his red spear, anti-magic, can basically show Excalibur because the invisibility is mana with using wind to make it invisible. And when we took our armor off, it was a bait. We got fucking baited, bro. The golden spear is the one that nicked us and is unhealable. If we had our armor, that would have never happened, but well fucking played. But at the end of the day, this duel just gets interrupted. Ryder showing up. I'm not sure exactly how well Saber and Lance are gonna take it, because they seem to have wanting like an honorable duel. And Ryder just shows up saying, Hello, motherfuckers, here's my name when everyone's hiding it. Party just getting started. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.